Now the whole point of LinkedIn is to build our network, which means connecting with people. So let's have a look at how we can build our connections or our network. So the first thing we can do is we can obviously search up in the top so search bar here. So we can search for people we know, um, we can search for particular roles, we might want to connect with people who work in a particular industry, lots of different ways that we can search. But once we find someone we want to connect with, there's two different things that we can do. So the first thing we can do is connect with them. So the way that that works is we reach out, we send them a connection request, and then they approve or not, they accept or not. So it's a two-way street. We ask to be connected, and then they say yes or no. But the other thing we can do is we can follow someone. So if you see someone's profile, you might see that the main big button here is connect. But what we can do is click on more, and under there, there's the option to follow. Now, if we follow someone, it means we want to stay up to date with what they're doing. We want to see their content in our feed, but we don't want to have that awkward back and forth, like requesting someone and then they say yes or no. The other thing you might notice is some people have made this follow button their main button. So if I have a look at this profile here, rather than connect, we actually see the word follow. So by default, this person wants us to follow them. So we can hit that follow button. If we choose to have that deeper connection, so we have the back and forth, we can still click on more and you'll see that connect is now under here. Now, why would you want to connect with someone instead of following them? Well, if you follow someone, you obviously see their content but they don't see yours. So having a connection means they will see your content and you will see their content. So it's more of a reciprocal um, connection. So what we need to do is we send that connection request. So we request to connect and then we add a little note. So obviously if it's someone, our colleague, we might not need to add a note, but if it's someone who might not remember who we are or understand why we want to connect, that's when we add a note. So I would say something like, um, hi Karen, just setting up my LinkedIn profile, would love to connect with you, Jodine. Or you could say something like, um, it was great to see you at such and such event, would love to connect, or was lovely to meet you um, at our recent meeting. Or you could say, um, you know, long time no see, I really enjoyed our time at XYZ company together. So there's lots of different ways you can write these notes. And then all we need to do is send. So Karen will uh, receive an invitation to connect and then she will make the decision whether or not to approve it. That's as simple as it is. But after a while, you'll start to uh, build up your network. And then what's going to happen is if we click on the My Network tab, this is where LinkedIn is actually going to start recommending people to us. So the more connections we get, then obviously the more... Uh, how should I say, useful these recommendations will be because there'll be people who are connected with our connections. So this will ch start to change and you'll start to see some people that you actually do recognize in there where you can reach out to connect with them. But I recommend at least once a week, spend some time on building your connections and just watch your network grow.